The Queen once sparked a standing ovation from the U.S. Congress for a brutal quip during a royal speech. Mr. Hardman told BBC Breakfast, in 1991, the Queen arrived in Washington on this big state visit just after the Gulf War, and it would have been long prepared and George Bush Sr. gave this very nice speech of welcome. He's about six foot three, and then it was the turn of the Queen who's about a foot shorter to then sort of say thank you, and she went up to the podium and the podium was meant to lower for her and for some reason it didn't. But the result was that all anybody could see was the top of her head. He added, a U.S. commentator famously at the time said all I got me was a talking hat, and at the palace, to this day they call it the talking hat speech. Mr. Hardman continued, but I interviewed George Bush Jr. for this book, and he said that the head of protocol after that got an absolute roasting from his father, nearly got fired. But the Queen took it all on him very good hard and the next day she was addressing Congress and began by saying I hope you can all see me today at which point she got a standing ovation after 10 seconds so it all went well. The royal author also revealed the Queen and Prince Philip were involved in a standoff with the U.S. Secret Service in 2016 during the visit of U.S. President Barack Obama and his wife Michelle. Prince Philip reportedly wanted to drive the Obamas himself despite the president's security detail being firmly against the idea. The Queen and Duke of Edinburgh reportedly won out in the end with Prince Philip taking the wheel while Michelle and the Queen rode in the back. The Obamas wanted to come and be the first non-family people to say happy 90th birthday to the Queen when she turned 90 in 2016. They flew in by helicopter to Windsor Great Park and the royals wanted to pick them up in the park where they landed. But the Secret Service said, no, we're the only people who drive the president and it went right to the top. Prince Harry won't return to the UK this month for Prince Philip's special memorial. The Duke of Sussex, 37, confirmed today that he won't be coming back to Britain for his late grandfather's Thanksgiving service, The Sun reports. It comes after Harry's fierce row and legal case over security, as he demanded his own protection officers in the UK. The Queen's beloved husband Prince Philip passed away on April 9 last year at the age of 99. A Thanksgiving ceremony will take place at Westminster Abbey on March 29, and will likely see large numbers of the royal family attending. The Duke's friends, colleagues and representatives of organizations he supported are also said to be attending the service. But it's now been confirmed that the Duke's grandson, Prince Harry, won't be leaving his Californian home to come to the anniversary event. Last month, Harry launched his high court fight over security, insisting he wants to bring his children Archie and Lilibet to the UK but he does not feel safe under the current security arrangements. He was told in court his demands to be allowed to pay for 24-hour armed protection when he visits here from the U.S. were unreasonable because British police are not guns for hire. Becoming the first member of the royal family to sue the government, the Duke of Sussex, claimed in London's High Court that he should be given taxpayer-funded armed guards. Papers filed by his lawyers called the decision to remove his security after Megxit two years ago unlawful, 